Eight years ago, actor and singer Chris Colfer became a breakout star on a breakout TV show, mm -hmm. playing Kurt Hummel for six seasons in the hit oh, musical <laughs> series Glee. A He'd role, forget that one. a role which earned him a Golden <laughs> Globe. Set it free. <laughs> it's Peter Allen, but it's his writing as a best-selling yeah. author that's got everybody's attention these days. His latest book, The Land of Stories: Worlds Collide, is the sixth and final in a series about twins who have magical adventures in a fairy tale land. And here's some other good news. Chris is actually adapting the first book into a film which he is writing and is going to be directing. directing. And you're wow. still in your 20s. <laughs> I, I know. Barely. Congratulations. Thank wow. You. Thank you. I, I hate being congratulated on things that haven't happened yet. That's but okay. I think of, no, no, you but finished it's on the, the way. screenplay. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank You've you. got people who want it. Congratulations. Thank you. You're, Thank you so much. And this came to you as a child, right? The, this this concept. And your grandma was your first editor. What? She was. Yeah, yeah. I was about seven or eight when I uh, first had the idea for the series. And uh, I tried writing it then, but it was very difficult to write a novel because I was seven. Um, <laughs> and uh, I would I would write like a, a a chapter which would be like about a page long. And I would I'd get on my bike and I'd go to my grandma's house and she would grammar check it and spell check it. And if she liked it, she'd keep it in a pile for me. Aww. But if she didn't like it, she'd crumble it up in front of me. <gasps> Is that say, crazy? That you can do better. Oh, yeah. I know. now did but that? So great. So Oh, good. Yeah, it was very constructive. So that never like put a put like a. Sometimes that'll dash dreams if you watch someone who you care about crumbling up a piece of paper and throwing it away. But not oh, for you. Oh, I'm, no. I'm still like like crippled with complexes <laughs> from that. But uh, but uh, no, I I think she really gave me. A, she taught me a very, very valuable lesson to always work a little harder. How she told you the truth. She told me the truth. Yeah. Right. How right. does your grandma feel? right now knowing that you are on your sixth book it's going to be turned into a film and it all started back in the day when you were pedaling your bike you know she, I, I i always hear from like other people how proud she, of, of me she is but uh, i think she she never wants to make like the grandkids like like any of the other grandkids feel like less, oh, feel than, less than so so she she wow. uh, but she's still very honest with me she still gives me notes occasionally uh -huh. quite a lady was yeah. she a writer herself was she, she a was, performer no, she's super smart she had three doctorates actually yeah so she was a very 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 smart cookie yeah wow Wow, when you look back at that clip of Glee when you were cringing and like wanting to oh like curl up those with a ball, all those pants. pants. You just had with up a gold <laughs> pants. What were you saying? Was it about, about, like a, a Peter Allen number? It was. Yeah, but yeah. you look at it now and it's clearly child abuse. Look at the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, but, but it started everything the right. way What a great is. adventure. Yeah. Wouldn't be yeah. here without it. Yeah. Right. Right. Gosh, there's so much else to talk about. Well, but... just when I, whenever I think about you and I, I think about Glee and I think about your journey, because you were just like a lot of kids who thought maybe one day something big could happen to me. Maybe I'd be a writer. Maybe I'd be an actor. Why do you think that you're sitting in this chair? Like, what, what is it about about your journey that that worked for you? Oh gosh, a lot of luck, um, yeah. a lot of a lot of patience, and I think a lot of tough love from 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 yeah. people in my life. Um, and uh, it, it's funny when I was a kid, I just I absolutely had no doubt that. that that this would all happen. I, I just, I, I was, it was really kind of crazy to think about it now, but it wasn't until I got like a, to, until a teenager that I started having the, the doubts. So you believed in yourself. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Does he believe in himself enough to play this quiz with us? Oh, well, we love your hair. Thank you. Yes. A lot. Thank so yes. we want to play, should got, we got play concert? Yes, we're going to show you a photo oh, and you tell us what character all right. with this kind of hair. Okay, it it's is. called Harry Tail. <laughs> Ready? All right, let's see the first one. All right, well, that's Rapunzel, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, of yeah. course. You're course. right on there. Yeah. How about number two? Uh, that's got to be Snow White. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Easy breezy. <laughs> uh -huh. Number uh -huh. three. See, uh, it's definitely Little Mermaid. It is. Only oh. redhead that I know. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Number four. You're doing well. Um, oh, God. is it the generic Big Bad Wolf? <laughs> yes. Oh. Cool. Why are those Wiley Coyote? I couldn't do you got right. all of them. Yes. Chris, all right. congrats on everything. Yes, yes, that's sweetie. really have, great. God bless you. And Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.